Hello, Alonzo Adams, the president and CEO of Busy Bee Cleaning Company, located in Westchester, Pennsylvania, the chairman of ARCSI, which is the Association of Residential Cleaning Services International. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk to you about Million Dollar Systems. I also want to make this as, as exciting as possible. We definitely know that this could be a boring topic, but we want to spice it up and make sure that this is enjoyable and you can comprehend this pretty easy. So the one thing I want to bring to you is about systems. Systems is important for your business. If you want to get to that seven-figure mark, if you want to be a millionaire, not just a seven-figure business, but a millionaire, because a seven-figure business and a millionaire is two different things. So you have to think, you have to have the mindset, you have to think systematically. You have to system, systematize your personal life. You have to be a systematized leader. You have to understand how systems affect your personal life, your professional life. And I'm going to break it down for you. It went a little bit like this, and this is how systems worked out for me. Jumping into cleaning business, I was a teen, 1983, 13 years old, working for a cleaning company, one of the biggest cleaning companies on the East Coast. I would later leave that company, and I would pursue other, uh, other entities, and then I left, and I came back into the cleaning business in 1989. And at that point, I was uh, 18 years old. I, I had a baby on the way, and I had to try to try to figure things out. I got at this job at Paramount Building Services with my boss, Dave. Dave uh, had, a, had a decent business going. He hired me, he gave me some opportunities, which I really appreciate uh, to learn different things in the cleaning business and also to move up and learn how the business worked itself. I got into this business and I really wasn't planning on staying in the cleaning business, trust me. I had bigger dreams, I wanted to actually be a music producer. And I was working on different songs and I was putting things together, but it didn't go as planned. And I decided to stay along on Dave for a few years. Dave purchased a residential cleaning business to add to his commercial cleaning business. When, we, when Dave bought this business, he had no idea what he was really buying. This is what Dave thought he was buying. He thought he was buying a business that would actually bring in easy income quickly without having to wait, for, wait to be paid for 30 or 60 days like he, had to, like he was waiting for his money in a commercial space. So what happened with that business is that it did not last long because it lacked accountability and it lacked systems and it also did not have any operational excellence or financial management. And if you're gonna do a business, you need to really think about how you're gonna create effective systems if you wanna become a millionaire and have a seven-figure business. So I'm gonna pull up for you a PowerPoint that I have here and let's take a look at what, what does a system really look like. What exactly is a system? An effective system is a procedure, process, method, or course of action that produces a consistent and measurable result. A system solves problems. If you have weak sales or, or you're trying to grow, you're gonna to have to think about adding systems. Because if you actually put systems in place for your sales, then you will actually watch your sales increase. Now, if you have a system problem, you will notice that you're gonna have unsatisfied customers. You're also gonna have waste and inefficiencies that's occurring inside of your company. You're gonna have poor performance and high turnover. You're also gonna have excessive costs. Poor cash flow, low profits, and a business that can run without you. This is the problem that you wanna solve. You don't wanna have a company where you're the main player, where you're the MVP. You need MVPs. So you need a business that will run without you. If you have a business and it can run without you and it can be scalable, it will pay big dividends for you. The first one that it's gonna do is gonna actually boost your sales revenue. It's gonna increase 
customer loyalty and those loyal customers will refer. This is the key of the game of growing and scaling your business is having loyal customers. This will also improve employee efficiency and productivity. It will reduce the mistakes and the waste that happens to companies day in and day out every day. You, will, you can also expect speedy cash flow, increased profits. So let's think about some of these businesses that have done a great job. These were actually small businesses that actually grew to be big businesses. Amazon, a small company. This company was ran out of a garage. You got Chick-fil-A. Small company, one operations. It decided that it wanted to create multiple franchises from a system. And that's what a system allows you to do. You can actually replicate and duplicate the systems and create a franchise model. FedEx, they can do business all throughout the world. Disneyland, Costco, Chipotle. Chipotle is great because people are looking for fast. They're looking for something that is more of a healthier alternative and they can get you in and out quickly. This is a book called The E-Myth. I actually read this book when I was looking at how could I have a system inside of my company, multi, I should say multiple systems inside my company that would take my business to the next level and would make me a millionaire, of course. This is a quote that I love. Organize around business functions, not people. Build systems within business functions. Let systems run the business and people run the system. People come and go, but the system remains constant. A business that depends upon extraordinary people will not survive. This is what I see too often. When you have people that work for you and you're thinking they're going to be there forever, at some point they're going to leave, they're going to give you their notice, and they're going to be, all, they're going to be on their way. If you have a system in place, you don't have to have a heart attack when those people leave because you have a system in place that you can trust that you know that will get the job done. I want to look at two essential purposes of a system. One of those things, and this is key, is to find and keep customers. This is the one thing about the competition, and I have to say this about the competition. You have to be your competition's worst fear, okay? So you have to be better than the competition with fewer mistakes, fewer complaints. You want to be better than them because you're going to be faster than the competition, a better response time. Something breaks, something, a complaint happens. How quickly do you respond? How quickly do you handle it? You have to have a system in place when things go wrong. You don't wait for them to happen. You are proactive. You're not reactive. And so you also want to look at what type of value proposition do you have over your competition? Because if your competition is searching for a price, then you're all in the same, in the same league and you're just a commodity. So you have to find out the way to create a better value by creating a system that your people can constantly over and over communicate clearly, your salespeople, what is the value if I hire your service, I hire your company. Effective systems, it, help you, it helps you meet and exceed customers' expectations. Okay, let's look at the second one here. So we're looking at the increased profits by removing waste, okay? So that means you gotta have higher quality, and that's less complaints, less bad reviews, and less recleans. You have to be more efficient. You have to not be, listen, I, I have up here the lower cost, but again, it's the value. So you have to also have the quality and speed that reduce costs, okay? Effective systems help you have a smooth running and efficient and profitable operation. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to have a master skill. And what is a master skill that is important for you to have? You have to, uh, here's the one master skill you have to have. A de developing an effective business system, this is the primary skill that must be mastered by the entrepreneur, okay? All business functions, all business functions, like your marketing, your finance, your operations, 
fall within the scope of this single mastery. The real value of a business is found in the maturity of its business systems, the ability to consistently produce desired results. Desired results every day, every week, every month, every year. If you can do this, you will have a loyal customer that will love you because you meet and exceed your customer's expectation. You provide a great buying experience. You give the customers the best deal. You offer consistency, quality, speed, and reliability. Be a standout in the marketplace. You don't want to blend in. You want to stand out. What separates you? What differentiates you? What makes you the top dog? What makes you the number one option? Your employees, they need to feel and believe and trust in what you're doing. And they will thank you because they see that the job expectations are clear. Your training does not have to take forever. It does not have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. This is something that can be minimized. There will be less supervision will be required. Productivity, quality, and safety, they all are immediately improved. Job satisfaction raises. Employee turnover, it drops. So how do you create this business systems? How do you go about this? One, you got to look at the daily activities that happen in your business. Small, large, medium, you name it. You have to identify the business activities first. Then you have to break down each activity. Then you have to identify ways to improve the system. You have to track it and you have to test it. You cannot just think that you're just going to just put this together and leave it. You have to have some kind of tracking in there and testing it. You have to measure what matters. You have to evaluate it. You have to improve it. Elements of an effective system designed to benefit, designed to benefit customers. That is the key. This is the element of an effective system. It has to be designed to benefit your customers. Your customers, again, are looking for the value. It has to benefit them. It's about them. One primary objective in the result. That's what it has to be about. Best known way to doing a task. Focus on details and inconsistency. They have to be simple, written, understood, repeatable. Ownership, accountability. Accountability, I cannot, I cannot em emphasize that as much as I am. Accountability is huge. The reporting aspect. When is this gonna be re reported? We have reporting done on a daily base, on a weekly base, on a monthly base, on a quarterly base. The performance standards and measurements, ongoing feedback, recognition, give people their props, give them recognition for, when, for what they're doing inside of the system. Talk about it. Seek feedback from your staff. Make sure they still believe in the system. They still trust the system and continuous improvement. Do not sit back and think that your system is all that. Your system may be old, it may need to be upgraded, it may need to be improved. You have to think about continuously improving your system. Lexus says they are in the pursuit of perfection. Must-have systems. An operational system is a must-have. How you will manage the day-to-day -day in your company Remember, what gets attended to gets done. Document everything, your logins, your password, your key contacts, and how you operate your business. A client management system. How will you manage your, your customer service, client re, uh, related inquiries, including refunds, uh, changes to service, complaints, positive, negative reviews, anything else that could come to you from a client. You want to think about automation here. Think about how you're going to find a system that's going to help you automate these things. A financial management system. This is, this is a big one because going through COVID-19, we have seen businesses that have really had a wake-up call. And the wake-up call was like, were you prepared financially 
for when this happened. Yes, I do understand most business were not, but you have to have, you, you have to know how you're going to manage your revenue and your cash flow. Trust me. What is your profit margin goals? And how will you ensure that you can achieve it? This should absolutely be documented along with all the other financial management spreadsheet systems, softwares that must be used in your business. You have to have some accounting system in your business. You have to think about having these things that's going to put money, let's, let's put it this way, put money in the bank, put money aside for savings, put money away that is going to be your reserves. And, and if you're thinking reserves, how much reserves, Alonzo? I'm talking about let's get our businesses to the point where at a minimum you have four months reserves to keep your business afloat. Your business will reward you when you have a nice system, when you have systems in place. Those million dollar systems, this is what will happen. You will maximize your income in your ROI. You will reduce dependency on people who come and go. That is what you want to focus on, reducing dependency on people. Build long-term value in your, in your business. Also, if you're going to sell it, you're going to, and if you're going to sell it, replicate it, or have, have someone run for you, you want to have a great business in place. You want someone that can step right in and do it. And if you're going to, if you're going to sell the business, you want to be able to sell the systems that you have there. Someone can see value because you took time to document the processes and the systems in your business. And you can do this as simple and as easy as just using Google Docs and having a Google Drive. It will eliminate chronic frustration. You will achieve your own personal goals because in the end, you don't just want to be working in the business. You want to work on the business. You want to have a life. You want to fulfill your dreams. You want to travel. You want to do things with family. You want to achieve your personal goals. A system makes it happen for you. Okay. Now, I want to just tell you about something here, what um, I'm working on. So I'm working on a system program. And my system program is going to be a program that's going to help you design, create, organize, document, manage, and store, okay? This is, is, this is my program that will definitely help you turn your business around and you will find out how I became a millionaire. And again, I will repeat to you, not a million dollar business, but a millionaire. Everything pertaining to your business systems. I will tell you right now, when you want to look at who was the pioneer that brought in automation, I am the pioneer that brought automation into the residential cleaning business, okay? I should say the residential cleaning industry. I was the pioneer that brought in systems to track feedback electronically through your business and automate that process as well. My program is only going to be $497, but this is only going to be available for the first 20 people. And this is going to end in the next five days of you watching this program. And if you, want to, if you want to be a part of this, you want to take your business to the next level, you want to really dig into this, you email me, alonzo at systemfixer.com. And, and I will make sure that you will receive this program that will change and turn around your business and have you look at systems in a different way. I want to thank you for joining me. There's some fantastic speakers that's here at this summit this year. And I encourage you to check them out, see what, they're, see what they have to share with you that's going to improve and enhance and make your business better and make you a better entrepreneur. And again, I'm Alonzo Adams. Thank you for joining me.